Hey guys, welcome to therevitkid.com. Um, this is a tutorial answering a question I was asked um, following my wall sweep tutorial. Um, somebody sent me an email or a comment asking about um, brick sills and if I uh, how they add brick sills to a window and different window heights and sizes. And from his question, it sounded like he was asking um, if he thought that you or this person thought that you add the brick sill in the project um, to the outside of the wall or or just you model in the brick sill and that's really not the best way to do it the way I would suggest to do it is to actually add it into the windows family so I'm just gonna show you real quick how to do this so you click the windows family see I got a brick wall here click windows family click edit family and click yes so now I'm inside the windows family and I'm going to go to the elevation view now you can see we have a bunch of parameters here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first edit this little outside piece. So if I go into 3D view, let's uh, let's make it so you can see this a little better. So I'm actually going to edit this piece. I believe this would be the outside, yes. And I'm going to, for now, actually I won't edit it. I just want to show you how the brick works. So I'm going to go into the floor plan view, and I'm going to create a sweep. Uh, create a sweep across the window, and it's as simple as, like I said, this um, this window isn't necessarily going to be exactly what you would use, and it's not going to be correct. But I'm just going to show you uh, how you would go about doing it. So you go to a solid sweep, and first you're going to sketch a 2D path, and now your your work plan you want to make sure it is whatever reference plane so let's go into the exterior view you want to make sure it's the uh, the sill height reference plane or you, and you're gonna make another reference plane actually for the uh, for the depth of it so let me do that quit sweep so I'm gonna copy this oh, not going to so I'm gonna draw a new reference plane and I'm gonna copy it down three and five eighths for the brick. And I'm just going to lock this. Okay, so now I'm going to do my solid form, solid uh, solid sweep. And I want to uh, sketch a 2D path and pick a plane. I want to pick this bottom plane. You can pick the top one, but I'm going to pick the bottom. Go into floor plan. And I'm going to sketch a line. Now what you want to make sure is, you want to make sure you have it, I'm going to lock it to this reference plane. Um, like I said, you can set up your own reference planes for it. And I'm going to lock it to here and to here. Probably lock it to the very outside, but for now I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to finish path and now I'm going to sketch my profile. So I click profile and click edit and I'm going to go on the left hand side. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to add this little brick sill here. Um, as far as dimensions, you know, it's whatever you have. I'm just going to stick it out a little bit, maybe three inches, just so I can show you how it's done. I mean, this isn't going to be nearly correct construction-wise. So now I'm going to lock it to all the reference planes. And I'm actually going to need to make a reference plane here for it. Um, so let me finish the profile and finish the sweep. Let me draw one more reference plane. And now let me lock, let me make sure I lock it to the correct one. So you can see this reference plane here. And I'm going to lock it to the inside face. I'm going to lock that. Now let me just make sure that the sweep itself is locked. So I'll go back to Edit Sweep Profile, Edit. It's going to bring up the left view. Now let me align this and lock it. Finish Profile, Finish Sweep. Now in 3D, you can see we have this little sill. Now like I said, construction-wise, it's not correct whatsoever, but I just kind of want to show it. And now I'm going to go and change the uh, material. Uh, I'm going to make a new, ma new material, and I'm going to call it Masonry Brick Soldier Course. Because whatever the material is called in the family, if you have a material already in the project, it'll take those uh, properties. So now when I bring it right into the property, it's going to have a Brick Soldier Course, and you'll see. <coughs> So now what I want to do is I want to load it back into the project. Click yes. 
And now all these windows are going to have sills. Or should. Oh, other side. There we go. So now you can see they have this nice little brick sill. And because I put the soldier course material, they are... Um, they have per they have nice uh, nice lines and all that hatching pattern, and if you'll see, they actually adjusted adjusted to all these different size windows perfectly. Now this was just a real quick tutorial. Um, I hope that answered your question. Um, whoever left me that comment, I think you left it anonymously. But um, this is a little something you could do with uh, with just adding a little sweep. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.